What's your name? Kendall. My name's Hayden. Great, great to meet you. Great to meet you as well. Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't believe abortion should be legal. I believe that it should be criminalized as murder for anyone involved. So if a man forces a woman to get an abortion against her will, I think the man should be charged. But if a woman willingly gets an abortion to terminate the life of her child, I believe she should be charged with murder. Okay. I don't think so because people get raped. A lot of different things happen. And abortion should be an option. Yeah, I mean, I would say if a woman gets raped, I think the, the man, if after a fair trial, he's found to be guilty, I believe yeah. he should be given the death penalty because he's committed a wicked and heinous crime against the woman. Okay, that's real. And that, that's what the Bible says. It says if a man rapes a woman, the maximum penalty for that is the death penalty. And I would support that because that's justice. It's true whether people like it or not. It's what God says. And I would say for the mother of the child and the child that's conceived inside of her, I would mm -hmm. say she's going to need a lot of love, care, and support. And I'd say Christians, the church, family, community, friends should all rally around that woman and her child and try to support them, provide them with love and care. But the child inside of her is completely innocent. The child is not the same person as the rapist. It's an innocent human being, just like the mother who's the victim. And so I think we should just love them both, but I don't think we should allow the mother to murder the child because the child didn't do anything wrong. Okay, you have some good points, but I still feel like abortion should be an option for every woman because it's her body at the end of the day. What, so. what do you mean by that though? Because I've heard people say it's her body and sometimes they mean they think the baby is her body and other times they mean the baby is inside of her body and since it's inside of her body, she should be able to kill the child. Well, they both made the child, and it's her, it's her body, it's her kid. So she should be able to choose if she wants to abort that child, if she doesn't want that kid, if she wants to keep the baby. Well, right. he, he, here's one thing I want you to think about, though, right? If it should be her choice when the child is preborn, but it's the same child that then passes through the, the vagina, right, when she gives birth. Okay. Well, if the argument is if she doesn't want the child in her womb, she can kill it. Well, once that child's outside of her womb, what if she decides she doesn't want it then? Can she kill that child? No, that's why it's always an option. Well, it's yeah, but why, why should it be? Option. You could do anything. But but why should it be an option to murder the child when it's preborn, but not when it's born? Because suppose there suppose there were no adoptive families for the born child, we would still say, I would assume, no, she can't murder the born child, even if there's no one to adopt the child. She still needs to care for that child, right? You have a good point. You win. <laughs> okay. You win. Okay. Hey, it was lo lovely to talk to you. Great talk. Have a great day.